law of conservation of mass okay and this is the topic from the subject chemistry and so i'm going to write the definition of this law so it will be easy for us to understand in any chemical reaction the initial weight of the reacting reacting substance is substance is equal to the final weight of of the products okay now for studying the law of conservation of mass we need to know that what is it so in this i'm gonna first i'm gonna tell you about i'm gonna make you learn what is the law of conservation of mass and what does it it means which means that chemical re we're gonna if you want to learn the law of conservation of mass we need to focus on two things two or three like that in any chemical reaction the initial weight of the reacting substances is equal to the final weight of the products so this is these are some of the things we are going we are, we are going to focus so that we can understand what is the law of conservation of mass okay so i'm going to clear these all to make sure uh, to just write the examples because if the examples will make us learn more about will make will make us understand more about the law of conservation of mass so i'm going first i'm going to make two jars right over here okay uh there are two blue one one will be the blue jar okay we're gonna make it right over here and the other will be of green color so this is a blue jar and this is the green jar okay i know it's a little bit clumsy one this i'm not making it the exact one because you like it's so difficult to make the exact one so i'm gonna text it over here so that we can differentiate the two of them this is the jar a which is before reaction okay and this is the jar b the jar b after which means it's after the reaction okay so i'm gonna make now uh, for differentiating these both we're gonna uh, we just did this this the a before reaction the b1 after reaction okay now i'm gonna make the higher molecules which is the hydrogen we're gonna make the hydrogen and the molecule uh, sorry hydrogen and the oxygen molecule so we're going to make hi the hydrogen molecules of molecules of like they will be 15 okay and we're going to make the oxygen molecules which will be oxygen molecules which will i will be like of eight molecules yeah okay so Um, for that, make for making the molecules. I'm gonna separate them. Like I'm gonna make. There are fifteen molecules of hydrogen. Okay, the small ones are the hydrogen. Okay, now one, two, and three, four. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and the one which will be single one. Okay, 15. Now for that, now I'm gonna make the oxygen one. Okay, well, the oxygen ones are eight, so we're gonna color them like will be of. Red color, yeah. 
oxygen are ones are the bigger ones okay one two three four five six seven and eight okay seven and eight we're gonna attach them to this this hydrogen molecule because it's a single one okay now over after the reaction i'm going to tell you that uh, what happens after the reaction look the, this these ones are the oxygen molecules these are the hydrogen molecules now in this chemical reaction as i told you before that the initial rate of the reacting substance is equal to the final rate of the products product for that for making uh, yourself understand so i'm going to make the uh, b jar i'm going to fill them and we will see that what happens after the reaction we are going to verify it we are going to prove it by making the after reaction jar full so um the drawing shows us i'm going to make these one after, now before after the reaction you will see that the mole, diff, different molecules attach togetherly to make a water molecule like um this is one purple one which means it's the hydrogen one yeah and now it will be a 15 like one two two three four five three four one two three four and five six okay seven and this one is eight this one is nine this one is ten this one is eleven this one is the twelfth one the thirteenth one and it's over fourteenth and there is the fifteenth one okay so now i'm gonna make the red ones which means those are the oxygen molecules I'm going to attach it, attach these with these oh, which with these um hydrogen molecules yeah right away 1 2 okay 3 4 5 okay 5 6 right over here and Seven, and eight, okay. Yeah, okay, we are done with this. So um, now I'm gonna show you, now I'm gonna make um, like a molecule, water molecule, okay. okay. So we are gonna make a water molecule. It's right over here, this one. And then we're going to make this one and this one. Okay. So this is the water molecule. This is right shown. This is shown right over here. Look, the two hydrogen molecules and the one oxygen. Okay. Now I'm going to make another one, which is, which will be, which will show us the molecule of, Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Do you know what is a carbon monoxide? It's a gas, okay, which is so poisonous. And after the reaction, you know, like after the reaction, all the things which are extra will be released as a gas, okay, after the reaction. Like if we're gonna utilize the if in this reaction. We, we utilize the oxygen molecules and the hydrogen molecules from the AJR to make a water molecule. But when we just, uh, when we made a water molecule, now there, there are two, two, two molecules, which are, there are, yeah, two molecules, which are the extra ones. So these are the one hydrogen and the oxygen, the one oxygen molecule. So the one, the molecule of, 
the oxygen and the one molecule of hydrogen are not going to make the water molecule so it means these are these are the extra ones and these are the carbon monoxide so it will be released out of the jar as a gas okay as a gas so now it's like clear um, i'm ho i hope that it is clear that what is the law of conservation of mass as you know that look from this chemical reaction from this example we are coming to know we just know now we know that whatever happens after the chemical reaction or before the chemical reaction the weight remains the same right so the weight remains the same and the chemical reaction the after chemical reaction and the before chemical reaction we can weight them both and they will weight the same so i hope you guys learn and you guys understood all of this